All right, friends, so hopefully you finished coloring in your sweater with different patterns using color. So rem remember that patterns is repeating. So I made sure whatever I did to this diamond, I would do to this one. So it's repeating, right? Now is our time to um, create a background. So one option would be is to cut out your bear on this black line. And then you could flip over your bear and put some glue around the edges. Remember, not a lot. And put it and glue it on construction paper if you have construction paper at home. You could always decorate the back. Maybe you're going to add a tree. Maybe you're adding something to design the background of your construction paper. Another option would be is to take your paper that you had before and to make a texture background. So we talked about texture, right, is the way something feels or where is art, we are making it look like it feels something, right? This looks like if I felt it, it would be bumpy, right, in and out of these dark and light patterns of zigzag. So the way I've made this beautiful texture is actually just using my shoe. So if you have a shoe at home, what I did was I flipped over my shoe and I have this beautiful texture on my shoe. So what you could do is on your background, you could put it on your shoe and maybe in art we would use textured plates and not do something so silly, but that's okay. We're going to use what we have today. And I'm going to just take my crayon and draw. And it's like magic. Look at that beautiful texture that I'm getting. I love that texture. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to keep going. And in a second, I'm going to move my paper so it's easier for me to draw the rest of my background. Oh, this is looking great. Way better than planned, actually. <laughs> I love it when that happens. So I just moved it a little bit. That's okay if it wasn't exactly even, but I'm getting this beautiful texture in my back. So I have a nice textured bear, and a nice textured background. Okay, I'm gonna move my paper. Okay, I'm gonna move my paper again. And I'm just having my crayon holding it like a pencil. I'm just rubbing back and forth. I'm not pushing too hard. I'm letting the crayon do the work for the coloring and just kind of going up and down on my shoe. All right. And it would be helpful if you did this on top of like a table or something. It might be hard to hold the shoe and color if you're having to put this shoe on your lap or on the floor. So on a nice sturdy surface, or maybe you have someone at home that can hold the shoe while you do this. That might be helpful. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Now, if you have something else around your house that has a great texture, maybe you have a book, maybe you have buttons or something that you could use, foil. Try, you could try and make your own texture of something. But most shoes have a really cool footprint and bottom design that you could use to create your background. All right, beautiful. Now I have a gorgeous textured bear. So feel free to make your own textures or use a shoe, maybe have someone hold your shoe, um, make sure our sweaters have patterns and we added more fur texture lines with our crayons today. I am so excited to see your cute bears. It is unbearable. All right, have fun.